Okay, now this song we worked on was uh, Shady Grove, and I did a little strum for this one. And so for a, for a strum without a pick, I used, for the guitar, my, my fingernails, my two fingernails on my right hand, these ones, um, just like so. And I've got a D minor chord over here. Here's the D minor chord. It's um, first finger, first fret, first string. Second finger, second fret, third string, and then pinky, third fret, second string. Just like that. Take a close look there. The ring finger is just keeping out of the way. You can use this finger, but it's actually harder, so that's why I do it this way. So there it is, like that. Then, if you're doing an um, individuated bass note in your strum, it's going to be on the D string, the fourth string. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure if we did that last class. I think we just went down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So we'll stick with that for now. We'll just do the strum. I'll add the I'll add the thumb later. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And then uh, we switch over to a C chord. Now when you're playing the D minor chord, you want to make sure that you don't hit either of these strings, especially the low E, because that really sounds bad in that chord. It doesn't belong. Don't hit the E string. Um, on the C chord, ideally, you don't really want to hit the E, the e string on the, the C chord either, the low E. It's not as bad as in the D minor, though. So... Here's, um, we did two different songs last week. We did What Shall We Do With a Tiny Baby, um, better known to most as What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor. So depending on your audience, you can change the lyrical content. drum pattern and a versatile chord progression. Um, okay, so there's two songs using D minor and C with the, with the strum pattern.